Hello everyone. Today we are going to start second part of isometric projection that is combination of solids. Here we will see how to draw isometric projection of two solids of a combination of two solids. So let's move to the problem. Draw the isometric projection of a square pyramid of base edge 40 mm and axis 65 mm long standing upon a cube of 60 mm long edges centrally. In this problem, two solids are first is a cube and second is a square cube of size 60 mm and square of size 40, 40 is the base edge and x is 65. Now here the second solid square pyramid is resting upon a face of cube. So the first solid cube is resting on HP on its base, on its bottom base and the second solid square pyramid is resting on its upper face or top face. So first we have to draw the isometric projection of cube here which is resting on HP. So we will start from first and second x axis. We will project the base of cube which is a square square of size 60. Then we will draw lines parallel to third x axis and we will complete the projection of cube. Then we will put this square pyramid on the top face of the cube and centrally. The centrally means both axes, axis of square pyramid and axis of cube will coincide or you can say the common axis is vertical axis. So first we will draw isometric projection of cube. Now for the base we know that the side or edge length is 60. So we have to take ISO 60 for construction marking ISO 60 along first ISO axis, say this is ISO 60 along first ISO axis and ISO 60 along second ISO axis. Next step, we have to draw lines parallel to first and second ISO axis from both these points. Parallel to first ISO axis. And parallel to second iso axis. So this is the base. Next step height. Height is also 60. So from all four corners, we draw lines parallel to third axis. Or parallel to vertical iso axis for a length of 30, uh, 60. And again, we have to use isometric scale for the conversion or for construction. So this is the complete projection of Q first solid which is resting on its base on HP and on its upper face on this face the square pyramid is resting is resting centrally and the axis of both will coincide. Next we have to draw the axis axis of Q or simply we have to mark the center of things. So simply bisect all four sides of the base and draw lines passing through them you will get the center. Similarly from all midpoints draw lines parallel to sides or parallel to first and second iso axis you will get the center so this is the top center and this is the bottom center now next second solid square pyramid is resting on its 
top face. So this is a square pyramid which is resting on its upper face or upper base, top base, like this. Now here the specific condition for a square pyramid is missing. So whether the side is parallel to HP or VP or edges are equally inclined or at any angle, all these informations are missing. So simply we will assume that all sides of square pyramid base or base are parallel to the sides of Q or parallel to the extreme sides of upper base. Now the given size is 40 for square base and for the Q same is 60, 60 minus 40 is 20 and if we divide by 2 we we'll get 10. It means from all the corners we have to mark distances of 10, 10. Now joining these points we we'll get the square base of square pyramid which is here, which is resting or which is placed here centrally. Centrally means axis of cone, oh sorry, axis of Q and axis of pyramid both are coinciding. It means the center of square base and center of the square or upper part of the Q both will coincide. This is the center, this is the center of upper base. And the same point is the center of the square base of square pyramid. Next, we have to draw the axis. Axis of square pyramid. Given height or axis length is 65. So again, from this point, we have to take ISO 65. So this distance or this length is ISO 65. Now we have the apex point. In the last step, we will draw lines from apex to all corners. And we will show all visible sides or visible edge or visible generators. So for the square pyramid, these three generators are visible generators. And these two sides are visible. Next for Q, on the facing side, this side is visible. Also this side is visible. This side is visible. 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 And visible. Now for extreme right edge of the top base, Part of the side or part of the base which lies outside the generator of square is visible. On the left side, again concept is same. So all these sides are visible sides. So these are outlines. Please use HB pencil for all these construction work. Last dimensioning height is. Sixty for the cube size of length of the base here is forty and height of the pyramid or axial length is sixty-five. So for dimensioning, draw dimensioning line parallel to the axis from the extension of base center and apex point. Also it is better to show the base side of the cube also. So 
so all three sides are equal and direction of observation this will be the direction of observation for the solid so this is the solid this is the combination of solids first is a cube and second is a square pyramid second solid square pyramid is resting centrally centrally means both solid axes for solid axis of cube and second solid axis of the square pyramid both have coinciding axis or both will coincide so this is the common axis next second solid is also resting with parallel sides or or you can say the sides of square base these sides are parallel to extreme sides of the top base of the cube so this is the final answer now please draw this problem in your sheet thank you